Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office. If you recall, in an earlier video, I purchased these Japanese candies. And by the way, if you speak Japanese, please, please send some <laughs> translations for us. Um, hopefully, you can see that writing quite clearly there. And there's another little bit of writing and graphics on this box. Chorus Whistle Candy. And it's fascinating because it's like, can you whistle? Shows music coming out the centre there. And uh, I want to give it a go, really. I want to give it a go because it's just so weird looking. And I don't know what's in this box. It's just, ooh, it's, it's so so Japanese. Um, 2018 fire. It's, it's interesting. Is this like the best before? I mean, do sweets have a best before? Ah, so I'm just smelling the corner. Smells like some sort of plum. Oh, the paper's really nice texture. It's like vinyl. Ah, okay, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't be just tearing this. Maybe I need to sort of, you know, can it seal back up? No. Should be a bit more careful, really, shouldn't I, with these? Maybe I might want, not want to eat them all at once. So, oh, it has got something in this box. And there is indeed additional writing on this box for those of you who speak the lingo. But it does look like a uh, mouse and a duck in a biplane. So maybe that duck was a bit slow and he wanted to go a bit faster. Faster than duck speed. Oh, it's a toy. It's your little gift. And it looks like a, a, a tri-crapper-tops. Look at that back leg. Looks like he's, uh, you know, he's sort of done a mischief. You, you know, sometimes you're walking along and you uh, take a misstep on your ankle and your ankle goes, <laughs> that's what's happened. It's just going, nom, nom, nom. Aah. And that's that's what he's ended up with. He's sprained it a bit, but that's quite nice. I wonder though, can you, uh... ooh, maybe that box is good though for taking a couple of little whistle candies in your pocket on your way to school. That's probably this dual purpose. And wow, I'm getting this overwhelming almost scent of um what did i say before plum i think plum yeah definitely plummy i mean it's it's not a, it's not a smell you know we really get that much because we don't eat that many plums do we oh and the uh vernier scale of um batteries always being deaded it's so annoying I, I don't know why these don't have a proper off switch on them they're always bloody dead every time i take them out of the box so let's have a look We'll take out one of these sucky candies. And uh, so we'll just measure the math so that you know for later if you want to recreate this. It's 21.25 uh, and it's flashing, I think. I think that's this device's way of telling me that it's uh, batteries on the way out. And the centre hole, 3.91 millimetres. So, oh, you want, you'll probably need the thickness. We're going to do it properly. 9.3 yeah still zeroed 9.3 so now you can uh, 3d print yourself some of these it does look to have a seam down the middle there so i wonder if they are actually constructed in in two halves and then uh, somehow glued together but i'm going to put it up to my lips wow you can hit oh That's cool. I've worked out how it works. I'm going to just uh, hold them in my mouth for a minute. How hilarious. Uh, it's all a bit wet now. But that's why it's in two halves. Fat. Ah, it's soft candy. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, it's a bit like a soft swizzles, you know the swizzles? But each half is actually, it's hollow. So you can imagine it's uh, got a hole here and then you've got the other half. So this shape obviously You're blowing in here and it's doing something or another, resonating and then puffing out. Something like that. Um, it's like a flute. 
doesn't make the sound on the one half. You need the two together. Mmm. Now, in terms of flavour, and of course, remember, friction, the power of friction pens. Make them a razor. TM. Um, the flavour is sweet. But it's gorgeous, actually. It's really... It's quite nice. It's not overpowering, like some of those swizzles, which are really super strong. And you get plenty, to be honest with you. Eight. Hmm. I kind of just wish I took more care of this packaging because I'm probably now more likely just to sort of race through and eat them. But I do hope my kids don't find them because it's not the sort of thing that um, they'll appreciate like I do. So I'm just looking here. Um, I can see 83 calories. Um, 22 grams. I'm wondering if the 83 calories is for the whole lot because you could see how thin they were. They were just a small shell. Well, there you go. That's rather nice, a nice little treat to find. I've uh, enjoyed that. Please uh, comment down below if you've had these or you know anything about them. I do know at least one of my viewers is in Japan, should be able to tell us about this. But yes, of course, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching. I was trying to think of something clever to say about Japanese food, but I'm, I'm at a loss. Just thanks for watching. Bye.